now 5 a.m. I just got dropped off at Toronto Pearson Airport. I've got my luggage here and I've got my backpack. So I just went to put my bag on the conveyor belt and uh, a few workers were walking by and they helped one of the ladies that was ahead of me and they asked if I wanted help and I'm like, sure as they see me trying to put the sticker on properly <laughs> so then as she picks it up and she's like oh this is heavy <laughs> i'm like it should just be under 50 pounds it turns out it was actually 56 pounds and i was like okay i'm ready to take i'll take like two things out of she just like let it fly and i'm so grateful i was super super nice uh, she said your backpack is already so big i don't know how you're gonna carry anything else i'm now in line for security Dump my water everywhere. So I just arrived in Saskatoon. I'm now going to go down and meet my cousin. So I'm back at my cousin's. I tested my pedals and they seem like they're gonna fit in my cousin's car. So I'm gonna go meet my dad for some coffee. And um, I just got dressed. I just changed my clothes and I kind of washed. So now I'm just going to pack up my purse and then take off to go see my dad. So I haven't vlogged since I arrived at my cousin's yesterday. I really spent the night with them just hanging out. It was a lot of fun. So I just finished supper with my dad and his wife and, and her son. So I am gonna just try to vlog a little bit more as we go. I am still trying to gauge it, like what's comfortable and what's not comfortable, not for me, but for everyone else. So um, today my cousin was basically like, yo, if you want to vlog, just go ahead. So I am just going to record more and try to build enough content to actually post a video of this trip. So I'm going to start driving back now. So after I got home this afternoon from supper with my dad, I ended up just hanging out with my cousin and his wife. They have to work tomorrow, so they're already in bed and the sun is out. So I'm just gonna go for a walk. The town that I'm currently in has a population of like 200 people. I don't actually know, but there's like a couple streets. And so I'm walking to the bar restaurant, which is closed, but my friend is going to be meeting me here. And I haven't seen her in two years. She's definitely one of my longest and one of my best friends. So no matter what, anytime I've come out to Saskatchewan, since I've moved here, she's the one person I have seen every single time. I seen other friends most times, but she is the one person that I see every single time that I come here. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be joining my cousin and his wife for a workout. I don't actually do real workouts. I might go on the treadmill, I might do some yoga but I'm never consistent and I, and I don't push myself to a point where I'm like exhausted. I just do it to get the endorphins flowing, to stay healthy and just to make myself feel better. So I am a little bit nervous about this workout. So they have a gym that they built in their garage. I'm just gonna show you. They will be basically directing and telling me what I should be doing. This is their plan. Okay, so for this part of the video, I have to do a voiceover because we had music playing in the background and due to copyright, I can't have it in the YouTube video. So inside the garage here, we're just doing a warm up. I failed many times, but they were very, very patient with me and walked me through each of the moves. And honestly, I felt like the warm up was more of a workout than I would normally even do. So I was definitely sweating after this. There wasn't a lot of room in the garage, so we actually had to work out outside, which I don't think I've ever even done. So that was a cool experience. It was very, very hot that day, and I'm just grateful that I had a less intense workout than they had. I mean, 
I was still sweating and it was still really hard compared to what I do. Honestly, compared to anything that I would do, they are hardcore. I did half of a set and I was exhausted. If you see here, I just start to really slow down. That was after one full set of what they gave me. The real star of the show here. <laughs> we can't forget about him. I got full shade and they both worked out in the sun. I do not know how they did it. Honestly, I was completely wiped. I took so many breaks and just forced myself to get at least two sets. So I think I did two full sets of what they gave me. I'll go ahead and put exactly what it is on the screen. And then I stopped completely. Got the star of the show here working out hard. <laughs> we are just about done. I end up stopping a sooner than them, but they went to the last second. So today is day four of my trip, and it's the day that I am flying to Alberta from Saskatoon. So I'm just gonna go stay with a friend for a few nights. So I drove myself to the airport in my cousin's wife's car. So I'm just going to take my pedals out and I'm also going to just record a bit when it comes to like taking everything out of the vehicle and kind of getting set up to go inside. So a super crummy thing with my suitcase is that you can't drag it very well. If I drag it, it, it drags on the bottom unless I hold it like this. So I have to do it like this. Use this and guide it. When I go to Alberta, I'm leaving like my pedals, I'm leaving my laptop and a bunch of other things. So I feel like I'm traveling extremely light. <laughs> my bag was not over this time. Temperature is checked and just walking through the maze to security. So I just landed in Edmonton. I am walking to baggage claim. I just have to say that I am so grateful that we decided to stay here instead of like going to a hotel. It's like better than a hotel. She's such a good host. She left me earplugs and a mask. <laughs> Go for it, follow her. I had such an amazing time while I was in Alberta. I'm not gonna share too much of the content in this video. I made two full videos so far from being in Alberta. So the first one I made was this four wheeling video. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link here. I ended up flipping the little red quad that you see right now. So if you wanna check it out, make sure to click on that link. The second full video that I made was kayaking. It was such a great time. I laughed and I pushed myself to the max and had so much fun. So if you wanna check that video out, go ahead and click the link right here. Uh, is my hair down gonna piss you off? Yes. Okay. If, keep, even a bun, just as long as your hair is tight and not no bangs either. <laughs> so after we filmed the kayak video and the four wheeling video, we went back to Melanie's house and we started baking a banana cream pie. Firstly, I had no idea how long a banana cream pie takes to bake. We were in the kitchen for probably about three hours. I had so much footage from it, plus I was so tired, so there were at least a few funny moments, but the quality of the video was not good. It did not turn out well. It was really grainy. It was like not formatted properly, so I wasn't really sure how to fix it, so I'm just gonna play a couple clips here and hopefully one day I'm able to take the actual footage and make a full video out of it. But overall, it was so much fun to make. I mean, I didn't really enjoy the baking part, but I did enjoy being with Melanie and we laughed a lot and the pie turned out great. Slowly pour it in while you're whisking. Okay. So this is called tempering. 
What if I don't put enough in? Okay, cup work. It's not nice. scooping a full well, cup. That's why you gotta tilt it. How can I stir tilt and grab? Okay, you know. okay. Where is it gonna scramble out? Nope, no scramble. I got this. I did about almost two cups, but the thing was Two cups, I hope. Right. These are quarter cups. So two of those. But then like, not like a full this. scoop each time. Okay, well, now you're <laughs> screwing everything out. Nope. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. I know I should be a baker. You are a master baker. This one was mine, and this one is Mel. 22. And there's a can on top of the post. I hit the can once, but mostly just around. <laughs> I'm gonna try to chop down a tree. So, so this is. Try on this guy first. You can. Yep. And you can try on that guy later. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, you're going too too much of an angle, too much downward. Okay. So go. The camera stop you there, and I just break it. You can. Yeah. Uh, but if this was a bigger tree, we'd start cutting it right here. Oh, okay. Wherever which way so we want to This one I fall. feel like you can stop it. Yeah. It's just gonna stop it. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to chop down that oh, tree. That's good. So that'll be easier. This is okay. Now I should go the other side. No, keep going. You got a long way to go. Hitting in the same spot you've been hitting, otherwise you're just going to be making more work. And hey, more control. Oh, you can push it. Oh, that's a workout. I could do a dead tree. <laughs> Get knocked down a dead tree. I just chopped down my first tree with an axe, and now I'm going to cut through a log, a log with a chainsaw. Oh, so much work. It's so hot. Heading back to Saskatoon. We are at the daily scoop. That's mine. Here is the final product. <laughs> they got ice cream. <laughs> like a little ice cream cone and I went next level. Oh, it's tripping all over my head. They have a pedal pub, which is basically a pub on wheels. I think if I was on it, my job would be so easy because I couldn't reach a pedal, so I would just be sitting and drinking. Like, it looks just so beautiful. The sky is just amazing. It looks completely different on my phone. I had quite a few great nights with my dad and his wife. This was by far my favorite though. We had one for ice cream, and then we went downtown to watch the sunset. And afterwards, we did try to go find some fireworks, but we weren't too successful with that. Either way, it was the perfect evening, and I can't wait to it's do so it again. It's so crazy. I'm driving to Pike Lake. There's just a random dog on the road. What are you doing? Why aren't you? Oh, it's limping. I had a deer, a rodent, and a dog all on the street. I'm at a campground with my friend, and we're just sitting around a fire, chilling. We are at the escape room. We all did it. Uh, let's just say that we escaped with like an extra five minutes, but now we're just getting the grand tour of the background. And I run all the wires and I bring all the wires out of the wall and hang them here. And then I have <laughs> to put them into the cabinet and do the ladder logic for me. That's intense. Yeah. So, so intense. But I do all of this stuff, so I wire all the, that's why it's so messy. I wire all the cameras, the sound, that's all me. Almost every time I come to Saskatoon, we stop here. We love the breakout rooms, plus they have tons of different games that you can just sit and play. So lastly, I'm just gonna show a couple clips from the Clipping Climb in Saskatoon. 
I made a full video on it, so if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and click that link up there. During my trip in Saskatoon and in Alberta, there were so many more clips and videos that I took, but the video was already getting pretty long, so maybe in the future I will make another one and add some. But for now, thank you so much for watching.